I recently did a speed run, and I got a couple of tricks to show you that'll disappoint Timmy faster than his dad was at seeing his dance moves. Get down, son! The process of ending the game starts at Cave E, which is found in this location. We're going to go ahead and get some logs by chopping down a tree. You're going to need two in total. Next, you're going to build out a bench, and you're going to try to place it as close to the door as possible. Keep in mind that there is a barrier that's going to prevent us from getting it close. We're going to have to step back a little bit so that it snaps closer to the door, and you can see here what I'm doing. Once you have it in position, go ahead and build it out. Get rid of any extra pieces, and go ahead and get as close as you can to the door, so that when you sit, you're facing the door. When you stand, you can see that you're almost sticking through the door, so go ahead and pull out a stick. Sit down one more time, and this time when you get up, you can see that you can place a fire down. Once you go in for the lighting, your body clips right through the door, and you're in. This method is pretty good for speedrunners, but it's going to take something else to get through the next door. This second method's a good one too, and it allows you to get through two locked doors in the final bunker. Coming from the back entrance of this cave, we're going to quickly grab the rope gun and get out of here without having to do any of this cave. Again, we're going to come through the back door, and I'm just going to fast forward through most of the journey to the rope gun. But overall, this process takes about two minutes in real time. I'm going to speed it up until I get to the part where you have to jump on these rocks. This part's a little bit tricky, but I think you can handle it, and I'll play this at normal speed. There you have it, we have the rope gun and we didn't even have to do anything in this cave. Now that we have that gun, we're going to go back to cave E and we're going to start the process just like before. We're going to get some logs. And we're going to build us out another bench. Just like before, we want to get this bench real close as possible. And snap it in position. And build out that bench. Now instead of using a stick this time, we're going to go ahead and use the rope gun. Make sure you have it loaded with ammo, and you want to get as close to that door as possible as you take a seat. This time when you stand up, you can see that we can actually shoot a zipline far into the back, and we can shoot the other side to the door. Now if you're going to speed run, this is the way to do it. And you'll see why in just a bit when we come up to the next door. But know for now that we're going to have to take the bench that we built and pass that bench through the door using the zip line. We're going to go ahead and break it apart and pass it over piece by piece. Starting with the two logs and then the plank. And you can just take the zip line back in yourself. Once inside, like I said, we're going to build the bench. We're going to use our pieces. And we're going to finish building this one out. And we're going to take this one with us to the next door. To pass the time, you can kind of treat this like you're riding a skateboard through the level, doing some tricks. Anything to pass the time, right? Once you navigate far enough, you're going to run across this busted wall, and that's going to lead us to the next door, the Hell Cave door. Just like the other door, we're going to try to get this bench as close as possible. Now, there's a barrier on the other side that prevents us from using the fire method, so we're going to have to use the rope gun again here. 
Now this one's a bit more trickier because there's an invisible barrier that you can see kind of shows as I was trying to place it on the side. But just like the first door, we had no problem getting through. My third trick here involves running past some demons and completely skipping the final boss. We can activate the gold room cutscene before this demon boss animation has any time to finish. You can see as I got close, I placed a zipline in the first position. And then shot the second position through the cave. This allowed me to skip through and go straight to the gold room. And you can still hear Timmy in the background firing his gun at the demon boss. Even though we've got him here now. Now this fourth trick, I don't know if it's a glitch. I don't know if it's intended. Once we have control of our character, we're going to run to the forest. And we just need to chop down a tree as fast as possible. We're going to take our logs. And we're going to hide in this rock area right here. I found it's a nice crevice to where if the final boss runs up on you, there's not much he can do to hit you. As you're underneath them, technically. Once here, just quickly place down any logs that you have. Grab you a stick. And lift it up to create a deadfall trap. Grab you a couple of logs here, because the final boss has a substantial amount of health. And if you sit back long enough, he's eventually going to spot you and jump right into the traps, instantly killing himself. You just got to make sure you survive if he hits you. Real quick in the comments, let me know if you stay on the island or if you would leave the island. And there you have it. If you learned anything new today, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Maybe join a membership, and I'll see you next time.